Hi, I'm Sangeeta Krishnan and I welcome you on behalf of Jogging Josh to this week's video. So first we'll be going through the main headlines of the week, then I'll be coming to the main topic of discussion for today. The main headlines of the week are RBI launches Ombudsman scheme for non-banking financial companies. The scheme will offer speedy and cost-free complaint redressal mechanism relating to deficiency in services offered by these non-banking financial companies covered under the scheme. Telangana government announces rupees 5 lakh health come life insurance scheme for farmers. The Chief Minister of Telangana K Chandrasekhar Rao has announced a new life come health insurance scheme worth rupees 5 lakh for all the farmers in the state. Union Health Ministry launches viral load test. JP Nadda, the Union Minister for Health and Family Welfare, launched the viral load test to treat and monitor all people living with HIV and AIDS. UIDAI launches blue colored Bal Aadhaar. The Unique Identification Authority of India has introduced a new blue colored Bal Aadhaar card for children below the age of 5 years. Union Cabinet approves Fugitive Economic Offenders Bill 2018. The Union Cabinet, chaired by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, has approved a proposal by the Ministry of Finance to introduce the Fugitive Economic Offenders Bill in the Parliament. So this is the topic that I would be discussing in detail with you today. The Fugitive Economic Offenders Bill basically aims to deter any individual to evade the Indian law by staying outside the jurisdiction of Indian courts. So before we go into the details of the bill, let us understand who is a Fugitive Economic Offender. A fugitive economic offender is basically any individual against whom an arrest warrant has been issued by any court of India and who has left India or refuses to return to India to face criminal prosecution. So coming to the key features of the bill, the bill basically provides for the creation of a special court to declare an individual as a fugitive offender. So basically the process of compelling a fugitive offender to return to India starts with filing of an application before the special court declaring that an individual is a fugitive offender. The application has to have an attachment of the properties that belong to the offender. After going through the application, the special court issues a notice to the individual alleged to be the fugitive offender. Following this, all properties belonging to the offender, whether they are in India or abroad, and even Benami property will be confiscated. The offender will also be disentitled from defending any civil claim. And finally, an administrator will be appointed to manage and dispose of the confiscated properties under the Act. So in order to not put much burden on this special court, only those cases will fall under the jurisdiction of the bill that involve money worth Rs 100 crore or more. Coming to the conclusion, India has witnessed several instances of fugitive economic offenders, be it Vijay Malia who refuses to return to India regardless of the number of summons that have been sent to him and more recently billionaire jewellery designer Nirav Modi who fled India just before PNB unearthed one of India's biggest scams. So this bill aims to avoid such a situation and restore law and order by compelling the fugitive to return to India and face the consequences of their crimes. It also aims to make the financial institutions more healthy and clean. So with this, I conclude my topic for today. Please like and comment if you like our video. You can also visit our website www.jagandjosh.com for more updates and download our Jagandjosh Current Affairs app to stay connected.